Hello and welcome to my review of the new LEGO Star Wars TIE Bomber. This set was released as part of the new 2023 LEGO Star Wars Wave. Here's a quick look at the box. We'll go through the build, the minifigures, as well as compare it to the TIE Fighter from the 2021 Wave as well. So in this set we get three minifigures as well as a gong droid. At the back of the box you can see some of the play features as well as how the cockpit opens up. So this set retails for $99.90 in Singapore, it's $65 US dollars in the States and £60 in the UK. Here's the manual we get in this set. There are a total of 105 pages and the build takes about one and a half to two hours. At the back of the manual, we also have an advert for some of the other sets in the January wave. So there are three sets in the January uh, collection and some of the other sets from the past two years as well. This is the completed build. It's a pretty small set, uh, but I think it's really solid. Uh, there are no stickers involved. Printed elements are really nice. Here's a side view. Really nice grey and black colour scheme and I think the back view is really cool. It's really sleek and well designed. Here's how the TIE Bomber looks from the front and you can see the stud shooter as well as the cockpit which is completely blocked up unfortunately. The cockpit opens up just by lifting it up and you can see the TIE Bomber pilot fits in quite nicely. Although it's not translucent so you can't really see him at all. This is the Darth Vader minifigure we get in the set with the printed arm. Very nice. It's Vice Admiral Sloan as well as that missile vehicle thingy. The Gong Droid, quite a solid little build we get here. And this is the TIE Bomber pilot that was inside the set earlier. This is how the TIE Bomber compares side by side with the TIE Fighter from the 2021 Wave. You can see it's just slightly bigger and it retails for $30 more. The TIE Fighter was $69.90 at launch in 2021. Overall, I think this is a pretty cool set. I think it's a nice, solid build. Scales nicely with some of the other sets we've been getting lately. It's a great minifigure selection, and I think the printed arm Darth Vader is a really nice minifigure to have in such a small set. Uh, but I think the main issue is the price point. I think $100 is just way too much for something so small. I think that missile vehicle carrier thingy is also unnecessary. You didn't really need that. If they could cut off like one minifigure and, you know, that missile carrier thing and cut the price by $20, I think that would have been a lot better. Uh, I'm also not a big fan of how the cockpit is opaque. You can't see the Thai bomber pilot when it's closed up. I think like a translucent glass window would have been a lot nicer. So overall, I'm going to give this a 7 out of 10. It's a nice set to have, but not worth the full retail price of a $99.90. It was like $70, $75 I think it's worth getting, but not at full price. So 7 out of 10 for me. Cool set, but not a must buy at launch. So that's what for this video. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more LEGO videos to come soon.